focusing on how long you're protected from COVID-19 once you've recovered, but you might still be able to pass on the virus. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is diving into the research. She shares what health experts and survivors want you to remember during this health crisis. Months into the pandemic, thousands of people have come down with COVID-19. Helene Salk is one of those people, and her husband, Sunya, had a severe case. He was on the ventilator for two weeks, and twice uh, during that course of time, I got a call from the doctor preparing me for his death. Both have since recovered, but regardless of immunity, they say they aren't taking any chances and are strict with safety measures. Even with the vaccine, we still need to use a mask and social distance. This is no joke. A Public Health England study found past COVID-19 infection may provide some immunity for at least five months. But their early evidence also suggests those with immunity may still be able to carry the virus in their nose and throat and have the risk of passing it on to others, highlighting the crucial need for everyone to follow health protocols. You can spread it. That means you need to take the standard public health precautions that we've been um, talking about this whole time. So masks, physical distancing, um, hand sanitation. Dr. Michael Tang explains it's going to take time to know exactly how long immunity will fully last. And this study will continue on to look at just that. While that happens, the Sulks say people need to take the virus seriously, reminding safety measures are just a small sacrifice in a bigger picture. By you washing your hands, wearing a mask, you know, and keeping the distance, you are protecting also the rest of the people that you may interact with. And, and that is as important as protecting you, I believe. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.